I'm Tanya Taylor, Mayor of Willoughby. In today's video update, I'll be sharing with you some updates from across the Council for April 2024, including from our latest ordinary meeting, which took place on Monday the 29th of April. Last Thursday was, of course, Anzac Day, and I was honoured to join members of the Willoughby City community at two events as we gathered in remembrance of those men and women who have given their lives in the service of our country. A dawn service was held at the Garden of Remembrance in Chatswood, ahead of a commemoration in Willoughby Park later that morning. I hope that alongside the solemn reflection, every resident had a chance to share stories and celebrate our Australian values, and that there weren't too many sore heads on Friday morning. On to business, on to council business, and I'm pleased to say that council has endorsed the draft version of our 2024-25 operational plan for public exhibition. So from the 30th of April, we'll be seeking your views on what we have proposed for next year. The plan includes information on all the projects we've committed to deliver, as well as how they'll be financed. I'd like to invite all residents to log on to the Have Your Say section of the website and send us your feedback. Also up for public exhibition is that in the coming weeks is a new council volunteering strategy. Willoughby City Council has over 600 volunteers from across the local community who are actively involved in delivering council services like the library, bush care and the Mosaic Multicultural Centre. Our new strategy is designed to ensure council supports its volunteers to thrive and provides regular opportunities to celebrate their achievements and the contributions they make to community life. Public exhibitions of council plans are a really important part of our community engagement. Any plan that is publicly exhibited isn't finalised until we've had a chance to consider the feedback we received from each and every respondent. So please do send us your views, it's really worth doing. For example, the feedback we received from the public has now been, been incorporated into our 2024 action plan for Burraburu Reserve and Sugarloaf Point, which Council has now adopted. The key actions outlined in the plan include weed removal and the installation of interpretive signage along the estuaries and waterfront in the reserve. At Monday's meeting, Council also approved three applications received in March to our grants for the community scheme which will see funding made to Rosemont Chamber Orchestra, the Willoughby Community Men's Shed and Australian Disability. Our Grants for the Community program allows Council to recognise and support the vital contributions made by local community groups, including performing arts groups, sports clubs, businesses and social enterprises that make a real difference to our lives in Willoughby. Organisations can apply at any time and a full list of criteria is available on our Council website. And finally, we were delighted to endorse a motion laid before us to congratulate Willoughby District Historical Society on reaching their 50th anniversary this year. Since its establishment in 1974, the Society has been an integral part of our community. Through its public events and exhibitions and the opening of its own museum in 1993, the Society has enriched our understanding and appreciation of Willoughby's history. So on behalf of everyone at Council, very many congratulations to everyone at the Society and many thanks for everything that you do. Thank you very much for joining me today. As ever, if you have any questions about anything discussed during this video, we'd love to hear from you. Contact details are available on our website.